you're awake. This is the slums. We escaped. I carried you all the way here while you were passed out. It's been about half a day since that night. Is that so? I'm sorry for causing you trouble. Quickly, put the smartphone in a bag of rice. And, um, that... Thank you. No problem. This is part of our deal. You were somewhat useful in the end, too. Yeah, we would have fucking died without me. Let's go, Charon. We haven't taken Sibia down yet. Are you okay? Yes, there's no time to waste. They will probably quickly find out that we escaped the underwater labyrinth. So, it's not time to revel in the success of our escape yet. Barging into the Aquarius building for real this time. Aquarius is connected to the mayor. Now I know for sure. Then before Sibia destroys the evidence, let's confront her head on. Alright. The sooner the better. Let's make our move tonight. But we probably can't avoid encountering Sibia. Prepare for a fight with the security in the building. Whoa, good idea. Can I use the cell phone? That clearly... I mean, they hinted at that's probably a Sibia's phone. I mean, like, if there is a bag of rice in one of these cupboards, I'm gonna laugh my ass off. No one cooks, so I probably won't get... be used going forward. What do you eat then? Energy bars and ointment? It's a refrigerator. The electricity is running, but there's only a couple of beverages. Huh. Wonder what kind of drink Caron likes to drink. He looks like a tea guy. Maybe a coffee guy. I know that there's energy drinks in the game. Caron's bed. There's some black fur scattered. You're gross. Nasty. What if you were allergic to your devil? That would kind of suck. Let's attack Aquarius tonight. Oh. Go for bear. Alright. I'm ready. Take me to that shop, buckaroo. Hmm. Alright, gremlin, what's up? I think her name was Teotaka? Is that what it was from Blaze Blue? Whatever, this thing reminds me of it. Welcome, welcome. Today you will pay, I mean, buy a lot. Maybe? It could there be something else? I didn't even use this last time. Um, I'll buy one. Come again! By the way, I'm Cuban, so don't forget. I don't believe you. Looks like the bomber was arrested. Man, the slums are gonna get a bad rep from the public again. We ever have a good one? Oh, you. Did something change? Maybe it's my imagination. Didn't you have both your arms last time I saw you? I think they mean, didn't you have two missing arms? I think that's probably what they meant. You had neither of your arms. The Aquarius building by the harbor. It's pretty big for a building in Laplace. They must be making loads of money. Tesca need to find a proper job. Hmm. Ah, good times. Last time we were standing here, Bomber kidnapped Jillian. We probably should have checked on her. I feel like she would help, you know? But what what could she do? Why would you drag her into that situation? Let me just immediately change my mind. Same idea, like, even though Noelle's parents are rich, she probably shouldn't, like, bug them. Alright, we're good. Guide! Alright! Now it's time to wait for nightfall. Uh, but you. After all those dangerous moments, you're not scared? No one said I'm not scared. Moreover, it's a strange feeling. It's like my desire for revenge against Sibia is quietly growing. Calmly blazing. Huh, I see. As long as your emotions aren't out of control, it's fine. Especially since Sibia is your direct enemy. Settling your score with her will be a big turning point. But it's not the end goal. Even if you defeat her, your peace and quiet won't return. So don't get the wrong idea. I know. It doesn't look any different from the other day. On the surface, it looks like a normal business, so there's nothing strange. But I don't know what's going on inside. Should we find a different back entrance? You said there wasn't one before! No, let's not. I don't want to fall into the undersea labyrinth again. Can we sneak in from the front? 
It's more like barging in. But of course, if you don't mind the alarms going off. It's not the best, but... Well, Sibia's not an idiot either. With or without alarms, she will have a warm welcome ready for us. Then let's barge in from the front. That would be easier. Alright, it's decided. Let's smash Sibia's nose head on. But don't forget, I'll handle the fighting. If you want to do something, find something else to do. I know, I'll leave the fist fighting to you. Now, let's go. Okay, I'm ready. Let's order them a pizza. That works before, then they have to answer the door. Hmm. Are you hiding something? Why would you give me the choice? Doesn't look like it. You ready? Please smash down the front entrance anytime you're ready. All right. What the f hell is that thing? That's... That's a security drone! D drone You- you don't know what a drone is! No, I- I don't really know machines. It's funny how out of touch you are about certain things in the world. There were a few broken ones scattered around the undersea labyrinth. In a word, a guarding machine. They are the perfect killing machine and are stronger than humans. I see. That'll make things difficult. But look over there. There's a fire alarm. What about it? If we pull that, the sprinkler will turn on. Now here's a question. What happens to a machine that's wet? Huh. Uh, but isn't it waterproofed? Then you should deliver a quick blow and damage it. You're right. It's decided then. You can lure in the drone. In the meantime, I'll head to the fire alarm. And fight together. The drones deployed by Aquarius are very high-tech. They will be difficult to break, and you will suffer severe injuries if you fight them head-on. However, if Noel can turn on the sprinklers, they will become useless objects that can be broken with one shot. First use Karina's bait to lure in the drones, and wait until Noel reaches the fire line. Oh, what an interesting si- Oh my fucking god, you're coming for me right now. Alright. It's like Pac-Man. I can do this. I'm gonna die. Oh god! Stop it, stop it, stop, stop, stop. Fuckity fuck. Oh my god, I'm getting cornered. Okay, Karen. I did it. Leave the rest to me. Oh, it's already dead? Clear but Oh, forward? What? Let's keep going like this. We caused too much commotion. Sibia must have noticed by now. Probably. Let's quickly find some evidence before the police arrive. And get out of here. Okay. Um. What does that do? Hold on. No more kickback, plus occasionally damage returns to zero. Focus on warding off the enemy's attack while standing in the front line. Hmm. Let's give it a try. What? Here she comes. Sibia Becker. Let's finally settle this. No matter what, you won't die. I can't get rid of you. What do I need to do? Kill you? Once I'm done with my revenge, I may die. Pisk. Stop. What? Just now, it looked like Sibia shot an electric bolt that blocked your chain. You hadn't noticed till now. She's a demonian too. Just like Bomber, she made a deal with a devil and acquired a superhuman power. She's Burrow's dog. Is that so? Then I need your help again. Don't hesitate to. Let's catch Sibia. Uh, okay. Wait. Hold on a second. There's something in my pocket. Eh? 
this? The smart fort I picked up from the undersea labyrinth turned on. What happened? Did you charge it? No, not at all. It was soaking wet from our escape. Why did it suddenly... A coincidence, or maybe a Sibius electric shock affected it. Good timing. Let's take a look at the data. Maybe there's a map of the building. Oh, but it looks like it's almost out of batteries. I'll try to quickly open all the files. Day blah 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 blah. I finally made my dream come true, the mayor's secretary seat. I've spent many great days just studying and studying. Mayor Burroughs is brilliant and kind. If it's for this person, I can work hard and do anything for him. I've finally come across a job I can have. This is a journal. Ah, the battery went out. But the mayor's secretary... Is this Sibia Becker's personal smartphone? But her personality seems very different, if not Sibia's, but a different secretary's? Caron? Ah, uh, no, I wasn't really listening. Please don't zone out at a time like this. Uh, sorry. But who cares about the diary? What's more important is chasing Sibia. We can't let her erase any evidence of Burroughs' corruption. That's right! Let's hurry! Hmm... I am very certain that Sibia Becker has made a, devil, or a deal with Caron. That's probably how she got her powers, don't you think? Because she knew how to summon him specifically. Did you just hear something? Huh? A drone! There's a ton of them headed our way. What were you doing? It's better than attacking head on, but... It looks like they're circling the area right over there. It wouldn't be smart to leave this room right now. But in this room... There are three drones, and they aren't moving away from the entrance. If we attack the drones from behind, can we take them down with one shot? If we can back attack, then there's still a way. First, you will get as close as possible to the drones and wait behind the desk over there. Which one? I'll go to the left side of the room, buy the lockers, and unplug the computer. The drones really act to the light from the computer, and head straight for me. You'll use that moment to go around and back attack all of them. So this time, you'll be the mate. I could aim for the backs of the drones that way. Fighting head-on with that many drones is too big a risk even for you. But since there are two of us, we should use that to our advantage. Huh. Are you not confident? No, let's go with that. If I make the right moves, it'll be fine. I'm depending on you. What desk? What are you talking about? Also, I probably should have consumed ointment already. Oh, wait. An energy drink? What does that even do? Let's figure it out right now. Temporarily improves eyesight and get no damage for the next two battles. I'll wait here. Hmm. Are we going to be close enough? I feel like they'll see me from here. Oh, wait. <laughs> She's just waiting for me. Shit. Um, I'll just try. I'll try right here. Drones have reacted to the computer Noel turned on. Back attack the distracted drones. Even if you miss, one shot will get the drone's attention. Don't let them get near Noel. Okay. I'm ready. That was surprisingly easy. 
You did it! Her courage and drive are completely different from when she was hesitating about revenge. And she stopped being selfish. Like when we were in the labyrinth. Instead, she uses her skills to take action. Did she figure herself out and find her place? What are you so deep in thought about? Let's go to the next floor before reinforcements arrive. Right, there's probably nothing on the computer in this room. If anything, we'll find something on the next floor. And the computer in the executive's room. We should head to well-guarded areas. They must be hiding something there. I like it. Eh? Uh, where are you? There you are. Hmm. Oh, the smartphone is on again. I always definitely had a batteries last time. It can't be a coincidence. Either Sibia passed by here or she was just controlling the... Oh, she was controlling the drones just now. Either way, her electric power seems to be the cause. But it seems like it's only temporary. Anyway, I'll keep reading the journal. Hey, isn't there anything more useful to do? Date, blah, 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 blah. Who knew things would turn out like this? I didn't even... I didn't know anything about the mayor. I only knew one side of him. The mayor was well known, not only in society, but in the underworld too. That's how he controlled and ruled Laplace. But the mayor continued, oh, confided this to me, to secretary. The mayor trusts me. What should I do? What should I do as the mayor's secretary? What can I do to help him? Is this Sibia Becker? I wonder. It's probably just some device left in the garbage. But this private journal wouldn't be in someone else's smartphone. It says the mayor's secretary, but no mention of Sibia Becker's name. Burrow might have other secretaries, or it could be the one before Sibia. Dude, he's totally hiding something. Well, alright. If I can read more later on, I'll find it out at some point. Hmm. I can't read that. It probably says something. Security control room. The door is secured pretty tight. Curious. Maybe they're controlling the alarms and drones from this room. We need to get into this room. We've made it this far, but there's probably more drones. And they're already coming from over there. Wait, from the other side too! Shit, we're surrounded. Let's try to escape into this room. But it looks like we need to figure out the electronic lock first. That? We can go like this. And force it open. That was quite aggressive. Don't think a steel plate can stop a devil. Hurry, go through the opening I made. Well, wait! They're trying to take down the door. They won't give up. No, I'll do something with the machines in here. And I'll hold the door and keep them from breaking in. I got it. I'll try to unplug everything. More and more drones are coming into the hallway. At this rate, Noel and Caron will be stuck. But this is the security control room. Once you seize control of the drones, you can take them down easily. While Noel is unplugging the equipment, Caron must hold the door to keep the drones from entering. Wait, consecutively push the select button or consecutively... What? Am I doing it? Oh, I get it. What? Crap, not enough power. What? Are you... All right, the door is secure for now. Shit, I need to make sure they don't get through. Oh my, please try to harder to keep the door closed. Dude. I don't know what this machine does, but they'll turn off the power button.
It looks like this machine wasn't connected to the drones. On to the next one. I'm counting on you. Dude. I don't understand what you're wanting me to do. I'm just supposed to keep pressing Z? What is happening? Are you doing anything, Noel? I need acknowledgement that something's happening. Noel, unplug them faster! God! I guess. Well, okay, she only has one arm. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, parrying. Good job. Alright, the door is secure for now. Shit, I need. Come on! this time. I'll turn off the power supply. What, what, what am I... This machine needs a special key to gain access. There's no time to look for it. The door's about to come down. Uh, what? What should we do? Whatever happens, happens. It, it stopped. It looks like it. All right, yes! Sophisticated machines are fragile, so just smash them! Are you sure you want to use the arm you regained like that? Well, even if it's temporary, at least the drone stopped. I have no idea what I was doing wrong. Now's our chance. Let's run through here quickly. The structure of the building isn't that complicated. We must be at the top. Breakthrough. It made absolutely no sense. Mysterious ointment? What? Give me something right now. I'm saving. What are you doing? There's nothing left to do in this room. No, that's not true. This room must be pretty important. Now we'll be breaking into the core of this building. We need to check if there's anything we can use in this room. There's something we can use. I can break most electronic locks like the one just now. And if we disabled the drones into security a second ago. You're very detailed about the contract, but a meathead when it comes to situations like these. It won't take long, so please quietly wait there. Oh. Now are you done with your treasure hunt? I took a long look around and found several useful things. Let's go. Several? She got a gun. She found a gun in the security room, didn't she? Please take the gun away from the child. Ah! The device turned on again by itself. Can Sibia's electric power force machines to start moving on their own? A deal with the devil? Now I can look at things rationally. And I understand how naive I was up until now. Aspirations, pride towards a job. As the mayor's secretary, I have to push my personal feelings aside and be the mayor's right hand woman. I gave this power and now I realize something so obvious, so it must have been the right thing to do. After making a deal with the devil, this sounds more like the Sibia we know. Huh? We still don't know if it's really Sibia's. Don't read too much into it. But even if she made a deal with the devil, why did her personality change so much? What did the owner of this journal wish for? Only the person in question would know. Dude, he totally is the person who gave her powers. And he can't talk about it because it's his contract.
Not another electric lock. And this one is even more elaborate. Lock is connected to a different system than the control system we just turned off. How suspicious. But I don't think we can force this one open. The high pressure laser. Just touching it will lead to disaster. High pressure laser? What the fuck are you talking about? High pressure laser. What? Sibia, that wretch. But we can handle this. It looks like the machines over there control the lasers. If we break each one. Ah, this is why I call you a meathead. Machines aren't as simple as you think. You can't handle them like that all the time. Even you said breaking the machines would do the trick. That's because you were rushing me. So I, I knew this would happen. What's that? A stack of cards. It's called a card key. It's a type of key. With this many keys, they must open all the doors in the building. If a door is locked, we just need a key. Just using force takes time, and we are giving them more time to prepare. Huh. When did you find that? They were stored in the control room locker. Aren't I becoming handy? Huh. Depending on the situation. Anyways, I'll take care of the security with the card key. Let's go. Wow, good job. I guess we'll just wait. We need two card keys. It looks like I need to use the card key in two places at the same time. Which means no one can enter this room unless they intend to. Now, I'll hand you one card key. Please stand in front of the card reader and over there. Oh. Do I swipe through the groove here? Exactly. On my count, let's do it at the same time. One, two, three. Oh, it opens. How was using a card key for the first time? There's nothing to say. Isn't that how it works? Y yes, yes, you're right. Anyways. I know. With this much security, the room must have something important. If you know, it's fine. Let's go in. Teamwork bonus, hell yeah! Hmm. What do you think they're hiding in here? Shit. There she is! You're too late. I've already copied all of the data that I don't want getting into your hands into this memory stick. So if we steal the memory stick, Burroughs is done. Thanks for compiling all the important data. Shut up. But Mr. Well Noel and Mr. Caron, I think you went a bit overboard. What you've done is robbery indeed. Soon the police will be surrounding the building. And of course the law-abiding Laplace police will chase down the intruders who broke into an honest company. I'll think about our way out when we're done. We've made it this far. I can't leave empty-handed. Is that so? Then please, go ahead. That is... If you can! What the hell? Shit. A cheap trick to distract us! But the only floor above is the rooftop. There's nowhere else to hide! The rooftop? Quite, quite fitting for the final battle. I probably should use ointment. Are you gonna give me anything? As I thought, the power turned on from the shock. Lately, I don't know what I want. Since I've gained this power, I no longer hesitate. But at the same time, I don't know why I'm doing what I am, even. If I look at my past entries, I know that everything I did was for the mayor. But it doesn't feel real at all. No, I can't begin doubting that. Because I know that was my driving force. The journal ends here. Huh. Who cares who it belongs to? Now that we're here, all that's left is to corner Sibia on the rooftop. You're right. This journal. I'm glad I was able to read it. Now, I know what to do. Eh. 
What are you gonna do? You're gonna blackmail her. You rotten little scoundrel. Oh, thank God. Give me more. Oh, five? Okay, whatever. A grim. Oh, no. Hmm. That's probably pretty useful. I'll just buy one of those. There we go. This journal. I'm glad I was able to read it. Now, I know what to do. Okay. Something feels different up there. Should we go to the rooftop? Okay. Oh no. What? A building rooftop at night, the three of us? Me, Miss Noel, and Charon. It is just like that night. When Miss Noel lost her limbs, don't you think? Enough of the chit chat, Sibia Becker. Today you will fall with Burroughs' ambition. Even if you are a demonian, I know that your power is no match for bombers. Surrender at once. Come down and hand over that memory stick here. True, Bomber was a madman. There aren't many Demonians who could try an equal fight against a demo, but that's only a matter of a Demonian's physical ability. I don't have the power to defeat a demo. What I gain from making a deal with the devil is. The power to manipulate! This is. I thought we turned off all the security drones. Aquarius is a shipping company. It's easy to smuggle weapons from abroad. This is a military drone for combat. Significantly different in strength and firepower from the ones guarding the office. It's dangerous enough to fight regular drones head on. My Demodian name is Fictitious Sivia. A master of devil's lightning. Manipulating the universe. I can control anything with electricity. This power manipulates anything from machines to one's soul as I wish. Come down and hand over the memory stick if you want me to. Try me. This selfish and egotistical great devil Charon. Oh, no. Charon, take this! This is a stack of card keys. You can't fight those drones head on. Don't aim for the drones themselves by stopping... But stopping the controller. Huh. They'll dodge my way through. Demonian battle. Watch out for the drones under Sibia's control. There are quite a lot of them. If you fight them head on, you'll get severe damage. On top of that, Sibia's controlling the drones with Devil's Lightning. The drones will restart no matter how many times you take them down. Use the card crease that Noel gave you to turn off the controller. Or maybe cut the power source. You must fight without being surrounded by the drones. And avoid the shots from the helicopter. This is the moment of truth. Okay. I think I get what's going on. Wow, this is actually, like, pretty tricky. Where did Noel go, you little teleporting magician? Oh, crap. Oh god, that was lucky. Shit, when did you learn such tricks? If you think I just forced my way through here, think again. It's too early to think you've won, Mr. Charon. With my Devil's Lightning, there's no need for a power supply. Now let's get these machines moving until their circuits blow. And blow away that devil. Oh no. What the? But Sibia is forcing with her power. The drones must be overloaded. Huh. Oh my god. Can I just kill them? Oh god! How is no collateral damage happening? She's- Oh, she did destroy him. It's- it's impossible! Charon shouldn't have been able to handle the drones. No, not yet. 
I can't cause trouble for the mayor here. Now give you this match, but I'm not handing over the memory stick. I won't let you escape. Sibia is trying to flee the scene. Move to the top and catch her before she leaves the building. Oh. Game over. I'm not going to take your life. Give up the helicopter and jump over here. No way! I still... Give up. You can't escape the devil chain. And it's not the place to die with the helicopter either. You lost to me and Noel. Yeah. Ah! I should commend you for not being stubborn and not falling with the helicopter. For now, I'll break your arms and legs so you can't run away. I can't take the chance that you'll become desperate and throw the memory stick into the ocean. Charon, please wait. N noel I have a thought. I think that it's important. Oh, that it's a mistake for you to take down Sibia Becker here. What? What are you saying? She still has some power left. Don't tell me after all that anger towards her. You're now scared of taking her down. No, that's not it, Karen. It's not about that. What's the meaning of you defeating Sibia Becker? I think it's just pointless. So if you keep attacking this person, I will stand in your way. What? I'm asking you why you're saying this. Don't tell me you become attached to her as you learned about her past. Of course, I understand what you're saying. I thought at first that would be fine. But this person is. But I have to kill her to fulfill my revenge. Right, Charon? I must put an end to her, not you! When did you get that? I borrowed it from the locker in the security control room. With this, I can get my revenge. I know, Miss Sylvia. You admire Mayor Burroughs. But did you know, now the mayor is about to have his corruption exposed because of your mistake. Who said you could be quiet? Since I was dropped into the undersea labyrinth. No, since the day I was tricked in the abandoned building. I decided I must take revenge against you. And it's true Mayor Burroughs was behind it. There was a plan to use me. But to me, you're the one who took away my limbs, my piano, my future. No, I cannot curse you. Hey, you don't need to shoot her that much. She already can't. What a perfect location, just like you did to me. This time, I'll do the same to you. I'll take you apart and sink you to the bottom of the ocean. I hope this makes me feel better. Feel better. Right, Miss Sibia? Do what you want, I suppose. Then I'll take the memory stick with me to the bottom of the ocean. A woman who gave up once and quickly abandoned the helicopter is barking at me now. How pointless. You are scared of dying too, right? Stop pretending to be tough. Stop it, Noel. She's just Burrow Burrow's pawn in the end. Nothing will change by killing her. Hey, Kiron. What? How many more bullets do you think I need until she gives up the memory stick? Noel, it would be great if you could give up the memory stick. 
and sold the mare out before you die. Noel! Now the memory stick! And apologize to me before you die miserably! Huh? Calm down! Uh, what? There's no need for murder here. Right now, all you need is that memory stick for your revenge. You can easily take it without killing her. You should already know that. Or are you getting in the way of my revenge? I have just as much resentment towards her as the mayor. Isn't that the same for you? Yes, she made a fool of me, a great devil. Tarnished my contract. This girl deserves a thousand deaths. But... What is it? If you kill her, there's no turning back. Uh, I, I've already killed someone once. And once this revenge is over, my life will be taken as payment. It doesn't matter what happens after. There's no point in thinking about it. That you've already wished for someone's death. But that doesn't mean you should kill again. And the cost at the end of the revenge hasn't been decided. If you are taken over by anger and curses, then you really are just a murderer. Isn't it gratifying to you for your contractor to go down that path? If that's what you wish, I'll let that be your end. But it's something I will decide, at the very least. We have a common enemy, and are equals. I need you to be on the same page as me. It's my revenge, but I have to do it your way. It's also my revenge, too. Don't make me say the same thing over and over again. I'm speechless. I didn't expect that you say something so undevil like it's true, I lost some of my cool. Since we've officially made a deal, I only thought of dying to accomplish my revenge. The idea naturally took my fear away, and I thought I could do anything. Huh? Now that I've run out of steam, I lost my strength. It's because you did something that doesn't suit you. Is that your current contract? You've changed, Mr. Charon. It is hard to imagine from how you were in the past. No, I wish you were like that before. And maybe I wanted to be like that too. Charon? You knew Sibia Becker? No, that's, uh... I admired Mayor Burroughs and became the mayor's secretary. And back then, I was still a citizen who didn't know anything. Since I was a student, I was the smartest. I thought they were all idiots and I looked down on the people around me. Before I turned 30, I began working as a member of the city council and Mayor Burroughs, who brought the city of the Place together. You could say he was the only person I respected. I never had any passion, but working with the mayor became my only goal. And before long, I became the mayor's secretary. There was no one I could call my rival. The mayor highly praised and depended on me. You could say working with the mayor was my life. But the day when I could manage work with worth of the mayor's right hand I found out about the other side. The mayor who was using the underworld to remain at the head of Laplace. But I didn't leave the mayor's side. Because it was a path I had chosen. If I leave this person, I would return to my former self with no passion. Because I wanted to handle work in the underworld. I decided to make a deal with the devil and had all of my emotions burnt off. 
That's how I got this devil's lightning power that can control anything. I became the same as a machine with no mind. And now I follow the orders I imposed on myself in the past, without any feelings, and just as a machine to help the mayor. It's an ironic story, isn't it? Do you feel a little better, Miss Noel? You suppressed your feelings to that extent. Do you have no regrets? A deal with the devil for someone and not for yourself. It's like Noel who was tricked into being Burroughs' scapegoat, but doing it out of your own will. I don't have any regrets. The contract was for the mayor and for myself as well. Even now, I know that I have no regrets on my decision. But if you ask me, there is some resentment. Resentment? It's not like the mayor was twisted since he was born. He was at a dead end and lost to temptation. That's why he became what he is now. A great devil that twisted the path of the lost and troubled mayor. And now you're worrying about some other legitimate contractor. Mr. Caron, I won't forgive what you did. What? That's... It looks like you're having fun. Do you mind if I join? Hey, Noel. So you did end up coming to this building. Mayor Burroughs! That's strange, Sibiet. No one ordered you to lose. I'm very sorry, sir. Dull and useless woman. You shouldn't treat your own employee like that. For you, Chi. You too, Charon. Compared to before, you've become boring. The great devil Charon that I know is far more cold-hearted cunning than me. And you were very strict on his partner. Russell? What is he talking about? What does he mean by before? It doesn't ma matter, Noel Serketti. You will die here anyways. A, a devil? Killer Caesar! Caron! Wonderful, easily taking care of the same great devil, even while being restrained. Nothing will work on him. He's too powerful. It's impossible to win this fight. My workload will increase if this memory stick falls into your hands. You made another deal! Who knows? There's no need for you to know. Noel, we have no choice but to retreat. I can't win against that devil! No, no way! How are we going to get away? And you and the mayor knew each other. I can't understand what's going on. If you survive, I'll tell you. No, don't tell me! Mayor, was I useful at all? Until today, I washed blood with blood and assisted you. Was I 
able to replace Mr. Charon. Sibia, until today you've done well as my arms and legs. Mayor, you've done enough. Rest now. You have done splendidly. Whoa. God dang, he's a dick. Holy moly. Well, I guess that's it for Noel the Mortal Fates Season 2, Blind Devotion. Wow, I totally understand why it's called Blind Devotion now. For real. God, did he even deserve it? I want to know what he was like before. What the heck is up with this? And being a, in a deal with Caron beforehand and somehow Caron twisted him? Or it can't be that simple because it seems like Caron is like super neutral about things. But I guess maybe if there was some sort of technicality and Caron was being too literal about it, I don't know. Anyway, that's it for this one. Uh, I'm super looking forward to the next one. Thanks so much, so much for watching, and uh, I'll see you then.